In this video, I'm going to show you how I evaluated normality for the purposes of conducting this ANCOVA, which involves splitting skew and kurtosis estimates across the males and females. And then I also evaluated homogeneity of variance. So the first thing, looking at skew and kurtosis, the most efficient way to do that is to split the file. So go into Data, Split File, and you want to compare groups. And you want to compare groups across males and females, and sex is that independent variable. So click OK. And then go into Analyze Descriptive Frequencies. And then put the variables for which you have an interest in evaluating skew and kurtosis. So we want brain size, and we might want to look also at the body size factor variable. And the statistics we want to look at include skew and kurtosis. Click Continue and deselect display frequency tables because you don't really need that. And click OK. And here are the results. We can see that skew was estimated at 0 0.088 and negative 0.649 for brain size and body size, much less than the expectation of 2.0 or less absolute value. We also have kurtosis, negative 0.13 rounded and 1.3, again much less than 9.0. And again, for the males, brain size and body size, all less than the expectations of less than 2 and 9, respectively, for skew and kurtosis. So that's how I got those values. Next up, we need to evaluate the homogeneity of variance assumption, which can be done a couple of ways. You can do it through the G GLM utility, which is how I ran the ANCOVA. I could have selected that option when I ran the ANCOVA originally, but I wanted to go through the analyses that were core to the results and then follow up with the assumptions. Before you can do that, you need, to re, you need to unsplit the file, so go to Split File, and now you want to analyze all cases. Go into Analyze, General Linear Model, Univariate, and then respecify the ANCOVA, so brain size factor goes as a covariate, and the dependent variables brain size in kilograms, and then click on Options, and you want to make sure that you have homogeneity test selected. Now this is version 24 SPSS. So the estimated marginal means show up in this table. And version 25, it does not. You get a button here that says EM means. It's a little bit of a difference there. Not really relevant to this analysis, but still interesting to know. And then click OK. So here is that Levine's test of homogeneity of variance. And it's not statistically significant. So we can be satisfied that the assumption of homogeneity of variance has not been violated with an F of 2.952, 1 in 98 degrees of freedom and a p-value of 0 0.089. This is an especially fortuitous outcome because the sample sizes are unequal. And that would have complicated conducting an ANCOVA when the homogeneity variance assumption is violated and the sample sizes are unequal. I probably would have had to trim the sample size down to 40 for the females, which would have been very expensive from a power perspective. So that's how you can evaluate skew and kurtosis as well as the homogeneity variance assumption in the ANCOVA context.